Doctor, when it, when it comes to toxicity, what do you look for? What, how do you find out what people have and, and what they need to, to detox? From? Most specifically, when we had the availability of using the acumen test, that was a test out of England. And the acumen test would very specifically tell you what toxin was attached to which uh, gene. If I can give an example, we had a, a surgeon who had low platelet count. And it wasn't dangerously low, but it was low to kind of ask the question, why is this platelet count low? And we found on his acumen test that he had a ingredient that was inside the surgical scrub called citramide that was blocking platelet activating, activating factor on his genes. So hmm. there's the answer. So we knew exactly in his situation, every time he went in and scrubbed for surgery, he was actually scrubbing that ingredient into a system, and that was blocking the formation of platelets. And so we actually then create a detox program and we actually have shown in several patients that within 20 intravenous treatments of what we do, we've seen about two, th two thirds or three quarters of the DNA cleaned up. Hmm. There's a doctor in Germany I spent a few days with in his clinic that will do this detox protocol. He'll also include oral uh, detox, which is using, again, using butyrate, phosphatidylcholine, and then he'll also do it uh, rectally. So there's a, uh, a good colon hydrotherapist to clean out and then do a retention enema with, uh, with an espresso using coffee, coffee okay. grounds. So there's other types of detox you can do. You want to detox liver, you want to detox at a cellular level, you want to restore the cell membranes from the chronic inflammation and damage that's been done. So there's many levels to detoxification. Mm -hmm. So again, it becomes very specific to what a patient can handle and where they're at in the course of their disease.